welcome back to Mac. I'm Addison Looper. Joining us today is meteorologist Brady Blackstock, who is filming in the KSW, who is filming at KSW this week. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Addison. What do you do as a meteorologist? So the main thing I do as a meteorologist at a news station is I forecast the weather, which means I look to the future. And so there's all these models that are online that show the United States of America and using a lot of very complex math and calculus equations, they're able to predict of what the weather is right now at this moment and predict kind of where it's going to go. So that's including winds, temperatures, and they can paint a picture of what it's going to be like a few days from now, even as far as two weeks out. So I look at that information and I interpret the temperatures, the winds, which is what most people care about, and also if there's going to be storms, so I can let people know ahead of time if they need to make plans and need to be concerned about anything serious. What made you decide to become a meteorologist? It was working alongside other on-air meteorologists when I was working in news, so I didn't go to school to be a meteorologist at first. I went to school to be a broadcast journalist, which is what everybody in this room is kind of doing right now. I did audio and video and all that behind the scenes work. And then it was doing that, watching meteorologists on air and thinking I could do better than all of them. So I went to school and got a meteorology degree. And so now I can be on camera and give the weather here in Oklahoma. What did you do before you were a meteorologist? Well, before I was a meteorologist, I spent 10 years working in various newsrooms, mostly up in Oklahoma City, uh, and then I spent some time up in Denver. I have also, on the side, done a radio show that I produced myself. I've done that for 10 years. I have about 500 radio episodes I've done. I even worked in eSports for about a year, worked on some Overwatch tournaments, and before that, I have worked in a movie theater when I was 17, and that was kind of where I first got my love of film and broadcasting and video editing and all that. How do you deal with pressure during severe weather? Well, being an Oklahoman really helps, and because growing up here, we've dealt with a lot of severe weather, and that you get used to that. I recall a time when I was sitting in the living room watching the weather and the tornado siren was going off outside and my dad said, what are you doing sitting out in the living room? The tornado siren's going off. And I was like, oh, don't worry about that. And, you know, I think a lot of us here and have gotten used to it. And so I think that translates when I get on air and I see what's coming and it definitely helps to be in a studio where the severe weather may not be happening, though there have been occasions where I've been in the newsroom and a hailstorm came over and blew out all the windows on all the cars in the parking lot. But you deal with that afterwards, but in the moment, you know, it's kind of thrilling and you just go with the flow. What's your favorite and least favorite weather? My favorite weather, I actually like cold weather and snow. I think that's probably part of the reason I moved up to Denver because I got a lot more of it up there. And especially up there, you get like the fluffy, fun snow that you can turn into snowballs. Whereas down here, we kind of get the mushy, wet stuff. And uh, my least favorite weather, um, I do, and on the other side, I don't like the heat. So this summer was absolutely miserable for me with uh, the 100 plus degree temperatures and how humid it was. So. Yeah, just when the uh, sun is out and burning everything in sight, I think that's my least favorite. How do you get all the information to predict the weather? So there is a community of meteorologists all over the world that all work together, actually, and they use tools to measure the wind, the temperatures in every country all over the world, and they share that with each other through the Internet and they share the information so that all the meteorologists can paint a picture of what's going on in the atmosphere all around the globe. And so they share all that information freely, and we look at the information that's pertinent to us. Part of my job working at a news station is that I can localize it to just this area so I can focus in on what's going to happen in Lawton as opposed to what's going to happen where I also work in Sherman, Texas. So we. It's a huge community of a bunch of people that are very good at math and very good at science, and they're very smart, and we trust that they know what they're doing, and also a lot of computer programs. What's the coolest thing you've seen on the job? Well, I believe this year, since I've only been working there shortly, and the summer was mostly boring and hot, I would say watching Hurricane Ian develop and knowing that what it was doing was going to be a major issue 
And so, of course, it was a very unfortunate situation for people in Florida and South Carolina that had to actually deal with it coming. But at the same time, knowing that we knew it was going to be an issue up to a week and more out and that we were providing that service to whoever wanted to listen, that it was going to be an issue and they should take uh, precautions ahead of time. And that kind of reminds me why I got into this business is that the ability to predict the weather can actually help people and save lives. What do you do in your free time? I play video games. That's what I've been doing since I was a kid. I grew up in the 90s when Nintendo and Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 were coming out. So it was just, you know, the coolest thing to be doing at the time. And I'm a PC gamer now. So this summer I've just been playing World of Warcraft. And, and when I'm not playing video games, I'm a big music guy for my radio show. I love going to concerts. So I drive to Dallas a lot to see shows or back up to Oklahoma City. And sometimes I get on a plane and travel and go see shows. Could you please tell us the forecast for this weekend? Yeah, of course. So Friday is going to be the one day we're going to have to worry about. We have a cold front moving in early in the morning around like 4 a.m. And it will start coming in closer to Lawton around 7 to 10 a.m. And what it's going to be is a band of some thunderstorms moving in, and we're going to have to keep an eye on it because there could be some hail. We're not expecting any tornadoes, but we can't rule a potential of a small one spinning up. But the most severe stuff is going to be east of us after 12 and 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And then once that all moves through, it will clear up, and it's going to be a lot cooler because cold fronts bring in colder air. So it's going to be about in the 60s. On Saturday, clear skies, and then Sunday, it will warm back up to the 70s with clear skies. That's it for our interview. Thank you again for joining us today. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content from MMS.